Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Klaus, and thank you so much for tuning in for my first 1080p HD video for YouTube. I'm pretty excited. This is awesome. I finally got my rig set up. I got my iPad set up, as you can see, and it is just the best thing on the planet to be able to just sit here, play my iPad, computer's recording it. It is the best, guys. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys about my subscriber count. I don't know where you 50 came from, but in one week, I was able to get up to 200 subscribers. If you haven't seen the video prior to last week, whenever I was talking about getting 150, that was only a week ago. And I've been doing this for like three months, so I don't know where you guys came from, but thank you so much for your support and for the other 150 that were already here. Thank you all very much for all of the support. I am very, very blessed and very thankful for all of you. But uh, guys, let's talk about what we're going to do for 200 subs. I've got plans. I am going to be dropping in the trophies, going down to Bronze League, and we're going to be poning on some noobs. You know what I'm saying? Do people still say pwn? I, I don't know. But anyway, so we're going to be dropping down the trophies. I have some plans to be using some... Oh, hey. What's up, Ram? What's up, man? Um, <laughs> oh, anyway, so we're going to be dropping down the trophies and poning on some noobs. I want to, well, this is a bar trade, but I want to do a mass goblin raid on some noobs. I want to do some in, uh, healer P.E.K.K.A. on some noobs and just tear them up and wreck some people for celebration of our 200 subscriber count. So that is what we're going to do. I will see you on a little bit once I drop down on the trophies and, uh, and we'll see what we can find. See you on a bit. Love you. Bronze League, <laughs> League Level 1, that's awesome. So we have made it down to Bronze League where it's crazy. I see a lot of like Town Hall 10s down here and stuff. I mean, you know you can win defenses down here if you just put your elixir on the outside or something. But it's just funny how people kind of congregate down here. But anyway, I have uh, boosted my barracks. I'm going to bring you guys a Mass Goblin raid and then a variety of raids. I'm not going to tell you what they are. You just be looking forward to them. And um, we're going to be looking for... For the goblin raid, I'm going to be looking for a base that has no walls, which is rare, but it happens. And the, that way we can watch the goblins just kind of just kind of sweep across the base. So, uh, guys, I will be back in just a minute with my raid. I just wanted to give you guys the update on Bronze League. And, you know, I've been down here before, and Bronze League's actually really good. So if you need some easy loot, you're not going to find 300,000 gold in Elixir down here. But what you, what you will find is 100,000 golden elixir from like dead tunnel sevens and stuff really easy loot if you're you know tunnel eight or nine but anyway guys <clears throat> i'll be back in a minute okay i i did not find a base without walls but look at this thing i mean it's like it's an interesting base we have a town hall nine with like level one everything or level three or whatever level these are and uh of course the loot is not worth it but i've got 54 trophies on the line i might gain so anyway three two one let's um, I'm not going to use my heroes, but let's drop some goblins. I'm right-handed, so it's easy to just drop right on the bottom right-hand side. And we're going to just release them with one big long line here. And honestly, I don't know how we're going to do, because I've never done a mass goblin raid before. Um, uh, oops, sorry about that. But, uh, <laughs> they're going to run around. See, the thing about mass goblin is that they run around and they go toward the uh, collectors and mines and stuff. And so they, they don't really target the defenses and that's why they get wrecked and these giant bombs are destroying us we got one group left and these mortars are tearing them up so it looks like mass goblin raids aren't too good uh, they they really aren't very good at all um, from my experience goblins are the worst okay um, if you use them correctly then you'll be fine but mass goblin raids of any kind uh, are, are just a bad idea if you're going to if you're gonna attack a base and I'm just gonna sit there and stare at this for a little bit uh, There's some dark elixir right there. I might consider trying to go for but um, Anyway guys mass goblins and no good. It's a, it's, it's a no go. Don't don't do it And with uh, 9,800 gold and 11,800 elixir and actually got 67 dark elixir. That's all profit, right? Uh, 18 trophies. They're hard to lose and, and my massive massive league bonus of 637 golden elixir bronze league is legit guys okay so we've got ourselves a mass pekka army and the uh smallest baby base i could find was town hall 7 you know uh, the matchmaking for um clash of clans has improved as you can tell and so it's really hard for someone that's a town hall 9 to find anybody lower than town hall 7 but i'm going to be deploying these pekka one at a time 
I'm going to be lining them up across this base here, filling in the gaps. I've got two left, and let's put one on this side as well. So we've got eight P.E.K.K.A. I'm going to run in here and wreck the base, and honestly, I don't know what to expect. I actually thought Mass Goblins was going to be better than that. Um, so this Max P.E.K.K.A. army, kind of, ex you know, I'm expecting a fail just because the last one was a fail also. But that, this is good. This is good. We've got we've got three. Pekka going around this outside here, and uh, or four, and they're really tanking all the damage from these outside defenses. We've got two right here in the middle and two right here in the middle, and none of them have taken significant damage. So I think that uh, we're going to be just fine with the mass Pekka. This army is not worth it. <laughs> it's three. It's uh, thirty-six thousand times eight, so like two hundred thousand elixir, and it is very expensive. Oh, there you go. So we drew. We just lost a Pekka. And uh, hopefully we can take out a few more defenses pretty quickly. Um, I'm I'm really not I'm not worried about it, but I've just never done a mass Pekka army before. <laughs> so uh, looks like we're about to lose our another Pekka, and here we go. Whoa, yeah, okay. So now we've got one in the middle and four running around on the outside. The one in the middle is tanking a lot of the damage. The cannon is actually in this arch tower are targeting and now the other arch are targeting this big group on the outside while this one in the middle is probably going to take care yep so here we go <laughs> we have some utter destruction from a mass pekka army now mass pekka was uh suggested to me as a good trophy pushing type of strategy and i just don't i don't know i mean 200,000 elixir per attack is crazy, but it looks like we can three-star Town Hall 7, which is pretty awesome, with our 1,300 golden elixir uh, loot bonus, which is pretty awesome. And hey, we got 68,000 gold. That's all, that's all cheddar, and 23 whole pieces of dark elixir. <laughs> oh, that was fun. <laughs> So here we have eight healers with our heroes. That's actually pretty hard to say. I had to, I had to, uh, to say that over and over again so I get it right. But the uh, healers will be on, uh, will be four on four, four on my level ten king, and four on my level three queen. Now don't forget, level three queen does not have a special ability, so that is a sad thing. But it's okay. Four. And four. I think I said that wrong. Level three queen does not have the the uh, ability, but the level uh, ten king obviously does. So I think it's going to work out just fine. My uh, queen is is doing just fine. Now I think the only struggle we're gonna have is time, and I'm dealing with a town hall seven. I'm kind of keeping it low just to uh, just experiment. Can I three star? A, uh, a level 7, which has pretty decent loot, actually. It's kind of why I attacked it. <laughs> um, I'm always farming, guys. I'm always farming. Anyway, if I can get my king to stay in the middle and my queen to swing into the middle as well and start taking out this intersection, then we'll be good. It looks like the queen is going to go around the outside and start working on that barrack. Neither of them have taken any damage, so that's pretty awesome. These, these healers are doing fairly well. The uh, Archer Tower is dropped by the Archer Queen. Our King is being targeted by all kinds of stuff, but the healers are keeping them, them alive. They're level 3 healers, which is a max level for Town Hall 8. Pretty decent, pretty decent troop. And it doesn't look like we're going to have a problem, except for now, the air defense is targeting our King's healers, and that might be a problem in the future. I did not consider that whenever I was um, whenever I was deploying. I figured, you know, I should have probably dropped a King over here on this bottom left side. But uh, the queen is going around now. All of the king's healers are dead, which is going to be a problem. I'm going to use his special ability once he passes into the orange um, side of HP. And the queen is still 100%. So I think if we can keep the queen from losing her hero or her he healers, see what I'm saying? It's not easy to say. If we can keep the queen from losing her healers, then we will be in good shape. And it looks like the king has taken out the air defense, which is a good sign. The queen has single handedly taken out that town hall. And now the king will probably swing over, go through this wall here if he survives and take out that other air defense so we don't have anything to worry about with the other healers. Surprisingly, the king is still alive. He's taking a lot of damage right now and he's going through those level four walls. I think they're level four. And um, he is now on red, red HP. We did not expect to get to that point with our hero walk, but that was my mistake. I didn't deploy very well but anyway guys the king is battering down on that archer queen i mean archer tower now he's taking out this little bitty cannon and as soon as that cannon is dropped he'll go to the air defense and this raid is in the bag i think we will three star with this raid um so hero walk it's a it's a good strategy not not as good as the pekka mass pekka because mass pekka completely wrecked 
without a single scare. But there's your three star hero walk, eight healers, a king, and a queen, and uh, 141,000 gold, 81,000 elixir. Not too shabby. And for my final act, we're going to be doing a mass wall breaker attack. Now, obviously, they're going to target the walls, and that's why I picked this base because the walls are terrible. Now, I've got a hundred of them and a queen. I'm not going to use her. And uh, the whole goal of this raid is to waste all the elixir and try to take out all of the walls. So the uh, timer is done. Let's get started. I'm going to test the waters with probably four. Let's do four on the town hall over here. One, two, three, four. Oh, baby. Get it. Uh, okay, so they're going to get shot down real easy. So let's just release about 20 of them right now and see if we can get them in there into that center compartment there. That mortar is going to be a pain, man. A real pain. Sending more. Sending more. Let's kill over here. Boop. Let's kill over here. And over here. Yeah. This is raining wall breakers, man. It's raining wall breakers. Now, I probably should have picked an easier base for this, but I couldn't find any. I searched for like an hour and I couldn't find any. So the wall breakers are going in and this guy's going. Go, buddy. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> So we got about a third of the walls, not half of the walls. So uh, I'm gonna throw my queen in there just to just to do something. Um, <laughs> kill it, kill it, girl. I wonder how long this is gonna take. Anyway, so thank you so much for tuning in. I just decided to try some new things. I've never done a mass wall breaker, never done mass goblin. I've never even done a hero walk before. So this was all new stuff for me. Uh, mass Pekka was new. Um, I wanted to do Mass Valkyrie, but I need my Dark Elixir. I need it because I have to. Um, I have got to get this queen at the level five as soon as humanly possible. And so I'm only about 350, 376, 376 Dark Elixir away from being able to upgrade her again. So I'm going to be doing some Dark Elixir raids pretty soon. But that's going to do it for that. I accomplished. 20,000 gold, 869 elixir, and no loot bonus, which is pretty sad. But anyway, guys, let's return to my base and uh, talk about the future. I'm going to be doing a lot. Wow, 30. Dang, these guys are alive tonight, or this morning. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for 200 subscribers. Woo! I'm pretty excited. I'm really, really feeling blessed, and I'm feeling very just very honored by all of you that are watching and I hope that it continues to grow. I hope that I can continue to improve the quality of the videos and uh, please like and subscribe if you liked it and if you like the channel, please leave your comments down below if you liked it, enjoyed it or if you didn't and also ideas for future videos. Of course, we'll have to do a 300 subscriber special one day but um, and hopefully that's pretty soon but <laughs> anyway guys, that's all for me. Check out our social media down below in the links below and um, Oh yeah, also I put the, uh, I got a new intro as you can tell, the 1080p intro, and the, the music is down below, I don't think, I think it's a free song, but uh, check it out guys, it's pretty awesome, I put the, uh, the link down below for the new song as well. Anyway guys, that's all for me, love you all, catch you later, peace.